pour this out. Hey everybody, hope you guys are all well here in front of the saltwater tank. My name is Paul. If you like fish videos, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Unbox to put into the tank. These are crucial additions to the tank that are gonna help keep this tank clean, maintained, and in a nice, healthy state. So without further ado, let's dive right into the box. All right, you guys, so yep, here we go. First order from Blue Zoo Aquatics. All right, cool, heat pack working. That's what you wanna see is a working heat pack. So, so far, so good. Let's see here. Okay, looks like this is an acclimation kit. All right, so they sent this care package, which is pretty cool from Blue Zoo Aquatics. Uh, it's got some stress guard by Seacam. It's got a trip line. It looks like it's got a little bit of food and stuff like that. But yeah, Blue Zoo Mix. It is uh, just some of the stuff that they send along. That is pretty cool. Okay, so now wrapped up in here. Let's go heat pack. That one's a little bit cool, but, but the top one was warm. That one's got some warmth to it. Okay. Got it in a bag like it should be so that if anything leaks, it stays within the bag. All right, let's see. So we got quite a few things. So we got bag number one. As you can see, it's got a bunch of shells in it. So we will be finding out what they are. All right, here is the next one. A bunch more shells. As you guys could tell, we got invertebrates in this tank. More little shells, tiny, 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 tiny. Got those guys. One more bag, one more bag. Let's see what we got. What's the lucky winner? Lucky winner. Sweet. I'm going to wipe them down, get them in there to temp acclimate, and we're good to go into the bucket. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and start. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I want to try to get them all in at the same time since there's not a ton of water in these. Just want to be smart, you know. Here's this. All right, so let's go and pour this out. These right here are red leg hermit crabs. So these are the very small ones here. These are Nasarius snails. Super cool snail, guys. Really, really cool. These right here. These ones that I just dumped in, these are scarlet hermit crabs, which are absolutely incredible. Let's see if it'll come out of the shell. And here we go with this last one. Some crit snails. Here is the crabs and snails from Blue Zoo Aquatics. Now I caught this pest in there. I'm not sure if anybody knows what that is. And then inside here, I noticed a couple little swimming deals. I don't know, maybe they're just bigger copepods or something, but something in there. Got the drip going, got the bucket marked right there. So now it's just a matter of time. All right, so one thing that I like to do when I get inverts is use a brand new toothbrush and scrub the shells. Now here's why. You never know what could be on those shells from the local fish store or the online supplier that you got them from. And again, I just like to try to go the extra mile. I have forgotten before, but I do like to go the extra mile and scrub the shells down on the hermit crabs and the snails and conch when you get them and all that stuff. 
as you can see by the water clarity, the water is definitely not clean as opposed to the new water. So we could see that this is absolutely working by getting, you know, bits and pieces of grime and whatnot off of the shells. Each is own on this for sure. It does take time. I mean, again, when you're talking about getting over a hundred, give or take, um, inverts with shells on it it's a lot of work to get them and scrub them down especially because they're small uh, and you want to try to get as much as possible now you may be able to get away with it but again i like to because you never know where there may be a hitchhiker on a shell right here what i'm using are my uh, tweezers here for coral makes it real nice and easy to pick up all the snails and crabs all right here we go with the first one scarlet hermit crab I want this guy, well, it fell. Shoot, that's not what I wanted. So I want one of these guys to chill here because there's a lot of hair algae right there. All right, guys, so here you go. Here is everything from Blue Zoo. So you can see the Nasaria snails. These guys are gonna dig down. Look at this guy right here, digging down under the sand. That is what they do. We got one of the scarlet hermit crabs right there. We got another scarlet here. Okay, I, this is what I gotta watch for. This is the only one I'm concerned about. These shouldn't bother them. And then you can see we got the small blue legs here, then the Corith snails, they'll eventually get their way, you know, to where they need to go and stuff. There goes one of the scarlets. There's one of the big scarlets up there. There you go. Look at that guy right there, almost underneath the sand. That is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna just have to keep an eye on the Corits. I might have to actually flip those ones around. Now check this out, guys. That you see coming out of the sand is one of the Nasarius snails. Again, these snails go through the sand and keep the sand bed cleaned and aerated and all that. Now it just popped out. And the reason why is I put food into the tank for the fish and they smell it and you can see their little like snout things popping up it's like they use that to smell if food's coming in and then they pop up it, it is one of the craziest things that i've seen and uh, if you look in the back corner there you can see a few more sticking up it's just neat like you don't see these guys and then when food comes out their little snout things pop up almost like an elephant trunk now look at the guy over there popping out of the sand it is so, so interesting to see. Wow. Now this guy is a red leg Florida Keys crab. I got this from my local fish store, got this guy in here and um, it's a super awesome looking hermit crab. Just wanted to share this guy with you as well, but you could see some of the hermit crabs hanging off of the big guy. There's some more. Very, very cool. Now look at this guy messing around with this other shell, just flipping it around. What's interesting about the shell on this Florida Keys hermit crab is when it's on the rock, it blends in like crazy. Now I wanted to get you guys a shot of this as well. You can see in the back is the coral banded shrimp definitely an awesome shrimp the tentacles on these guys are insane here's another shot without the lights on absolutely amazing yeah these inverts are going to do awesome they're going to get this tank clean they're going to help keep it clean all that good stuff really excited about the hermit crabs and the snails that we got from blue zoo happy about it everything came out well they're going to adapt to the tank well so things are going to be awesome super excited again if you guys are fans of fish videos please consider hitting the subscribe button 
and the notification bell. I'd love to read your comments in the comment section down below. Um, if you could like it, that'd be great. Share it, that would be awesome. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning on in. I look forward to reading your comments and responding to them. Thanks for watching and stay tight.